Hi, my name is Erica and I will be your student nurse today. Today I will be administering ceftriaxone through an existing IV line. So I would first wash my hands, put on gloves. I would ask the patient to state their name and date of birth. I would assess for allergies. I would then assess the IV site and I would be looking for any redness or swelling and I would ask the patient if they are experiencing any pain at the site. I would go ahead and just make sure that the clamp is open, even though it should be since it is an existing line. I would go ahead and I would find the port closest to the IV site. I will take my alcohol swab. And I will alcohol it off for 15 seconds. And then I will let that dry. Again, I am administering ceftriaxone and I will be administering it at a rate of 2.5 milliliters every 15 seconds over a two minute time period. This drug is compatible and I will be administering it using the pinch push release method. Okay, and that's done, so I'll take that off. I will take another alcohol swab and alcohol it off for 15 seconds. And then I would let that dry. And then I would take my normal saline flush and I would connect it and I would flush two milliliters. And that's done and I will take my alcohol swab and I will alcohol it off for 15 seconds. And then I would let that dry. I would take my gloves off, wash my hands and document. 
Now, if the drug was not compatible, I would, there's two methods. The first method, I would pause the pump, clamp the IV line, find the port closest to the IV site. I would alcohol it off. I would flush with um, the entire 10 milliliter normal saline flush. I would alcohol it off. I would connect my med and administer it at the prescribed rate. I would take my med off, I would alcohol off, I would do another normal saline flush, I would alcohol it off, I would unclamp my IV line, and I would restart the pump. The second method that I could do if it was incompatible is I would clamp the IV line, I would pause the pump and then clamp the IV line. I would disconnect the IV line from the port. I would then cap the IV line. It would then turn the IV line into an intermittent. So I would have to label it as 24 hours. And then I would go ahead and I would administer the drug the same way that I would a normal saline lock. And the second flush for the incompatibility, if I were to keep the IV line connected, I would flush at the same rate that I administered the medication. So if I was to administer the medication at 2.5 milliliters every 15 seconds, over a two minute time frame, I would then um, administer the normal saline flush afterwards at the same rate. So I would administer two milliliters over 15 seconds.